Hey guys, Brad Gilmore here. Want to give a big shout out to our title sponsor, Walker Texas Lawyer. If you or a loved one have been injured in an accident, whether that be a car, truck, motorcycle accident, or some kind of other issue, hit up Walker Texas Lawyer at 713-552-1117 or walkertexaslawyer.com. Oh, Brad, what have you done now? Broadcasting live from Houston, Texas, and around the world. And around the world. TV host, best-selling author, and radio personality Brad Gilmore brings you a collection of conversations with stars from movies. Matthew McConaughey. Brad Gilmore. Mark Wahlberg. Hey, how are you? The legendary Mr. Christopher Lloyd. Christopher, how are we doing? Well, I'm doing good. Very <laughs> interesting. Jessica Alba and Lizzie Mathis. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Kevin Costner joins us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Television. Jimmy Fallon joins us this morning. Jimmy, how you doing, my friend? Good morning. Thank you so much, Brad, for having me. I appreciate this, bud. Kelly Ripa. Brad, thank you for having me. Comedy. Jay Leno joins us. Jay, how you doing? Hey, Brad, what's going on? Chris Tucker is in the building. Chris Tucker, good morning to you. Hey, Brad. Good morning to you. How are you? George Lopez joins us right now. George, how are you doing, sir? Good morning. Music. Lola Monroe. Thank you. Thank you for having me. The legendary frontman of ACDC, Brian Johnson, joins us right now. Brian, how you doing? Good morning, Brad. What's looking at you? Give me funny lad. Megan Trainer. Thank you so much, Brad. You're awesome. Chloe Bailey joins us. I appreciate the time. Appreciate you. And more. And more. This is The Collection. Now your host, The, the Boat. And he's joining me right now to talk about the new show, Fat Joe Talks, which is premiering this Friday at 8 o'clock Central on Stars. The one and only Joey Crack is in the building. Fat Joe, how's it going, man? What's up, Brad? How you doing? I was just in Houston last week. Oh, man, I wish I would have known, man. We should have linked up. You know, we should have linked up so I could I could talk to you more <laughs> about the show, brother, because congratulations on the show. This makes so much sense to me. We all love you on the podcast. We love you when you go on IG Live and say what you want to say. This makes a lot of sense. So congratulations. You excited about having this? Thank you so much. And what's so beautiful about what you just said is that the people got to see my journey through journalism. We started in COVID. We stuck home together. I'm talking to everybody. And that led to stars giving me an opportunity. Thank God for stars and saying, we think you could take this on TV. So the audience is always a beautiful thing when the audience actually sees your growth. And now here we go. We're on TV. We're talking to everybody. It feels amazing. It's a dream come true. And I mean it. This show right here is going to change lives. Well, to me, I feel like one of the big puzzle pieces for um, in hip-hop is always trying to figure out how to have longevity. And few people have mastered the art of longevity. I feel like you're you're one of those names. Jay's one of those names. LL's one of those names. Uh, you've always find a way to persist. What's been that secret to you? How do you f- find to always have your finger on the pulse? Whether it's the Anita record that you drop or whether it's doing the show, um, how do you always figure out to have your finger on that pulse and stay relevant? Man, we just work. And we work when nobody wants to work. Mm. And we don't ever give up. And when one door closes, we'll open the next one. And so uh, you got to believe in yourself. You got to put your your mind and your body through anything that comes your way and persevere. That's what this show's about. You get artists or American icons, truly American icons. They started from humble beginnings and they dreamed big and they made it. And then they try to steal it all away from them. And they kept fighting and now they are who they are. And so this story is about turning the negative to a positive. And so that's what this is all about, Fat Joe Talks, showing you, listen, we're human too. We went through this and that. You know, Method Man talks about depression and family life and, you know, stuff that somebody got to hear. There's somebody out there struggling with that right now in America that has to hear it from somebody they really look up to. Right. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. They say the medium's the message. Like everybody could tell you something. But man, if Fat Joe says it, it's going to resonate with me more. Meth says it, it's going to resonate with me more. Let me ask you this, though, from an interview perspective. Some some MCs are great freestylers. They can come off the dome, spit bars for days. Some of them are like Rock Kim, where he needs his pad and pen. J. 
jot his little his little dots down so he could have his 16 bars and be prepared for his verse. When you approach an interview, which one is it more like? Are you feeling it in the moment or are you mapping this thing out? I interviewed the great Hakeem Jeffries, Democratic leader. Mm -hmm. And after our interview, which I feel is my best interview, um, because it shows this ain't just hip hop. I could talk politics, whatever. After the interview, he said, man, I interviewed with 60 Minutes. I interviewed with the best journalists. Everybody had assistants giving them questions, giving them notes. He said, you just freestyle. You go off the top. And that's what I do. I go in there with a guest. Of course, I know what I want to bring out. You know, Mary J. Blige, I wanted to talk to her like a sister, like almost a female's perspective. Because I always think about the fan who needs to hear the message. So I'm thinking about the ladies that's in the crowd going, go, Mary. Go, Mary. What do they want to hear from Mary J. Blige? And so I switch it up every time and I hit it from a different lens with every single different artist. You know, DJ Khaled started with me. He's my little brother. We did an interview in front of his global G6500. Not to brag, not to show off, but to show little kids that this can be possible for you. You can come out of New Orleans, humble beginnings, and work hard and believe in yourself. You might even have your own airplane one day. Right. It's it's all it's all possible. And like you said, for people to hear those stories and to feel that from people who've been there and lived it, it means so much. I got to tell you this, Joe. Um, when I was younger, my my dad had a co-worker in New York. The, the co-worker in New York said, look, I heard this album that your son needs to hear. And she mailed a copy of me, myself and I to my dad just to give to me. I remember going to the mailbox and seeing it there. I was so excited. And that album had a lot of impact on me. And you've had a lot of impact, not just on me but on the culture abroad, man. So thank you so much. Congratulations on the show. And I really, really, truly appreciate your time. Thank you so much. That's this Friday, October 4th on Stars. Download the app. And also for guys like you, I got an album coming out next month. It's called The World Changed On Me. (laughs) There we go, man. World did change on me, man. But you know what? You hadn't changed, Fat Joe. You've always been authentic. And I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, Brad. I appreciate you. H-Town. (laughs) 